So I was looking for the new 38 inch LG ultra wide monitor for my 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch. And every review I came across said something about how they wouldn't charge them fully along with a bunch of other things, but nobody really seemed to have the combination hooked up or any kind of a review for that. I replaced a 27 inch iMac 5K. I got to the point where I was tired of having the iMac and the MacBook Pro kind of file syncing issues where you, know, you do some work in Photoshop on one doesn't really appear on the other it took too much time. So I wanted to consolidate down to one computer and giving up the retina display on the iMac wasn't exactly an easy option, but um, uh, the real estate afforded by the width of the 38 inches is, is amazing. For the type of work I do, a lot of web design, internet marketing, the ability to have three windows open all the time, plus have the laptop off to the side. I can be running a Netflix movie or put your text messages on there. It's been great. The only complaint I have is the inability to control volume with your keyboard. I don't know why I would think that could probably be a firmware update from LG. So you have to do all your volume control on the physical joystick on the bottom of the screen. It certainly does charge the laptop and it seems to charge relatively fast. I haven't timed it or anything, but since most of my work is in my office with the laptop plugged into it, it's always fully charged and certainly does charge it up when it's dead. And I'm using the 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch with an i7 and 512 gigabyte solid state drive. I've never seen an error as far as uh, power not being enough. The speakers in the screen are actually pretty darn good. They're plenty nice for everyday use. The screen's certainly very wide. Some people say it's too wide. I think it really comes down to how far you sit from it. I'm about 25, 30 inches from the edge of it. And you certainly can end up looking from one side to the other with your head or your eyes, but uh, it's not very often that I have something I'm working on constantly on one edge of the screen. It's usually kind of in the center here. And the other two things that I may be working on copying and pasting from are, are windows towards the sides of it. It's not quite the same resolution as uh, a retina display on Apple, but the difference is not much. I mean, it's it's not quite as good as, as looking at the 5K iMac every day, but within an hour of using it, I, I couldn't even tell a difference anymore. I'm sure you can initially tell the difference if they're side by side, but beyond that, it's, it's not a big deal. If you work in 4K video all day long, I think maybe the iMac might be a better fit, but unless that's your, your sole purpose is to put a full size 4K image on the screen with Premiere Pro or something like that all day long, I think this is much better for any kind of productivity. Having two or three windows always open is amazing. And then the one connection to the uh, MacBook is incredible. I don't have cords all over my desk, so it makes it super easy to come into the office and take the computer on the road, which for me is, is very important. Go to a meeting, bring your laptop. It's the exact same as when you were working in your office when you get on the road. People brought up scaling issues. I don't know what those are. I mean, I, I did nothing more than take the MacBook and plug it into the screen and it displays perfectly. There's there's no scaling issues. There's no hard to read text. I haven't run into anything. And I also run Parallels, so I run Windows 10 on here as well. And again, it works perfectly. I didn't even have to go into the settings. Some of the reviews said you had to go in there and play with scaling settings, but it was plug and play, super simple. I can't stand staring at bars in the middle of my screen. This is the only way to go. I came from a 34 inch monitor before I did the uh, the iMac and I loved the 34. It was not curved, which kind of bothered me. Having the curve now on the 38, I, it's almost a perfect monitor. If I'm on the road doing a video with a drone or whatever it may be, if I edit that in Premiere or Lightroom or any of those, it you know there's really no way to just have your Lightroom sync across the board to your other computer at home. So going down to one computer was a big deal for me. This allowed me to have the screen real estate that I need for web development where, you know, a 15 inch MacBook Pro, as gorgeous as the screen is, it's too small for me to work on every day. And this made it quick and easy. There's no docks, numerous cables to hook up. Um, the USB-C cable does allow data connections on the back of the screen. So there's multiple USB 3s back there. You can plug into any of them and it immediately shows up on the Mac. Like I said, no complaints other than just the volume, but in the grand scheme of things, that's pretty easy. You can control the volume right here. You just turn it up with the joystick, turn it down. I guess it's not as convenient as your uh, normal volume buttons right here on the keyboard, but other than that, perfect. It's worth every dollar. Um, I'm in and out of here all the time. I guess if maybe you only took your laptop 
once a week or once a month and it pretty much just sat on your desk, then I guess a few cables might work. I like to have a clean desk and this facilitates that perfectly. It probably would be too big if it gets any bigger or you'd have to be even further away, but you can work all day long on this. No strain on the eyes, no flicker. I've never had an error pop up. It just works. So for the 1150, 1149 you pay right now on Amazon, it's a great buy. I, I would buy it again in a heartbeat. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more and let me know if you have any questions.